Hello, in this video, you're going to learn how to compare two of the same Excel files while being able to highlight the differences in those two files. Have you ever wanted the ability to compare two Excel files that are the same while being able to highlight the differences in those files? If so, this video is for you. First thing we have to do is go into settings to turn on the option for you to have the compare files action in Microsoft Excel. Start by opening one of the Excel files that you want to compare. Then go up to file on the top left and then come down to options on the bottom left. Then click add-ins and then come to the bottom where it says manage. Then click the drop down and click com add-ins. Then click go. You want to check off the inquire add-in. If you do not have it checked off already, click the box to check it off and then click OK. Once you click OK, a new tab should appear on the top of your ribbon called Inquire. If you do not see that tab appear, close Excel and open it one more time. Now if you click the Inquire tab, you will see a whole nother section of actions that you can use in Microsoft Excel. The one we're going to focus on today is called Compare Files. I already have one of the worksheets open that I want to compare. What you want to do next is open up the second worksheet in order to begin the compare process. Once both worksheets are opened, click Compare Files. If you only have two Excel workbooks open, you will automatically see them populate in the box here. If you have more than two Excel files open, click the drop down boxes here to select which two files you are trying to compare. You also have the option to swap the files depending on which file you want to show up first. Once you have your workbook selected, click compare. After you click compare, it'll take a minute or two for the spreadsheet compare to pop open. Once it does, I do suggest making the window bigger and then you will see there's a bunch of different boxes that popped up. If it's a workbook that has multiple tabs at the bottom, just ensure that you are clicked into the correct tab. Then you wanna to start to move the boxes in a way that best suits your needs to be able to see the worksheets side by side. You can see that the differences are already highlighted here for me. Drag the bottom bar up so that it opens up the option window for you to select which type of differences you would like highlighted. Right now I have enabled all of the options to highlight differences for me. You can see that it will highlight any entered values in green that are different from each worksheet. And the other corresponding colors match up to what is here. So if there is a formula difference, you would see that highlighted in purple. You do have the option to uncheck the select all option and then choose specifically which changes from the workbooks you would like highlighted. Once you're finished checking off which changes you would like highlighted, come over to the right hand side and slide that bar all the way over to the left because now you can see here another view of the values that have changed. And then if you continue to scroll over or move that box over, you also have a bar graph version. This is a great feature to use if you have multiple copies of the same workbook and want to compare the sheets for differences so you can know which one to delete or get rid of and which one you need to keep. The last thing I wanna show you is how to either export the compare results or be able to copy the results and paste them somewhere else. If you come up to the export option, you'll see here export results or copy results to clipboard. So if I click export results and it's going to ask you to name that and where you would like that file to be saved and then you can click save. I have the results here on my desktop saved so I want to open that up and show you what that looks like. So you can see here the differences have all been documented here for me in this list. The other option you have is to click copy results to clipboard and then you can paste those results wherever you'd like to share that information. 
the Spreadsheet Compare tool can be used in a multitude of ways. I know this will be a helpful tip for many of you. Now you know how to compare two of the same Excel files while being able to highlight the differences in those files. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tech Tip. See you then.